welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Saturday, September 26th, and today I'm going to be filming a vlog. So, today is a very exciting day in our household. It is the first Saturday in a long time that there is college football. More specifically, SEC football. If you didn't know, Cody is a huge Alabama football fan and when there's Alabama football games we have to celebrate in our household so this morning Cody and I went to the grocery store we picked up a pork butt and we are going to smoke us a pork butt on our smoker today I also have some really exciting Amazon finds to share with y'all today so it should just be a really fun day so I am going to bring y'all along with me let's do this thing while we're at the grocery store this morning I picked myself up another one of these Glade candles these are less than three dollars and they smell so darn good so I'm about to light me a fall candle because it is now fall so it's totally appropriate to light some fall scented candles we've got our smoker out here heating up to 300 and once it starts smoking you gotta come out here close it and it's time for it to start preheating all right so we are smoking a pork butt today and it is 8.26 pounds and we want to go ahead and get this on pretty early in the day because this will probably take five to six hours to fully cook so time to get her seasoned up and ready for the smoker all right for the pork butt we blotted it off with a paper towel and now in the little fat cap on the back we went ahead and kind of scored it in a cross hatch pattern or i don't know if that's the right term but basically just sliced it into squares so as that cooks on the grill it'll kind of crisp up and it'll be really delicious and give it lots of flavor as always we do mustard first as the binder it is now time for the seasoning we're using this cpr rub by flaps 20 sauces and rubs and you just want to season quite liberally Ooh, y'all look at that that is a well seasoned butt i'll tell you what and contrary to what the name sounds like a pork butt is not actually from the butt of a pig it is from the shoulder in case you didn't know once the smoker finishes heating up, we're going to go throw this bad boy on the grill. While I was at HEB this morning, I found this Halloween Day of the Dead inspired coffee cup with this cute little chicken on it. So, yeah, I had to buy it. Thankfully, it was only $5, but I decided to break my fast today. We're going to have us a cup of coffee. So just brewed me a fresh pot of vanilla coffee, which you can't taste the vanilla in it, but it smells incredibly delicious. Added a little stevia. Going to add a little splash of heavy whipping cream. Going to give it a little stir. And my coffee is ready to be drank. And just look at my cute cup. Oh, I'm so excited. And it came with a lid. We Gucci, y'all. We ready to caffeinate and break my fast. Cody's going to go ahead and stick the temperature probe into the pork butt. We want it to reach about 200 degrees. And for a piece of meat this big, it takes a little while. And having this probe, we can plug it into our smoker. And it'll read the temperature so we can keep an eye on it. Ooh, hear that sizzle. This thing is going to be a beauty. In a couple hours. Woo. So now I just plug in the meat probe and we'll be able to read it right off the grill. When I was scrolling around on Amazon the other day, I found a couple of really awesome athletic wear pieces that are reasonably priced and looked super comfy and they had great reviews. So we are going to give them a try. As always, I will link all of this down below in the description, so if there's something that speaks to you, you'll be able to find it easily. All right, y'all, here is the first Amazon athletic wear find that I have for y'all, and it is this camo sports bra. I believe that this is a dupe for one that Gymshark makes, but I have to say, 
I love this sports bra. It's got these thick straps. I like the way it's kind of like this crisscross wrap around. The back has this really cute crisscross detail as well. This sports bra comes in three different colors and as soon as I finish filming this, I think I'm gonna go order the other two because it just, I like it so much. Okay, so this next Amazon find is something I've had in my save for later on Amazon for like over a year and I've always wanted it and I've never pulled the trigger and I'm glad I finally did. So it is this jacket by 90 Degree by Reflex and y'all, it is the perfect like lightweight jacket to have for winter and it is so comfortable. I really like this thing. It fits me so well. The sleeves are a little bit long but that's because I'm like five foot one. It's got the thumb holes in it and it's got two zip up pockets right here. The back is super cute as well and yeah I'm gonna be living in this thing so be prepared to see a lot. The next Amazon find I have for y'all are these athletic shorts and y'all I really like these. The material is super, super thin, so they're super lightweight. They are lined, so you don't have to wear underwear with them. If you don't want to, I always do. But they are really cute. I feel like I can boogie in them if I want. They have a drawstring waist on them, and this is a really good elastic material on the waistband. Definitely would purchase these in more colors. Last, but certainly not least, I have a pair of leggings I wanna share with y'all. Let me drop you down so you can actually see them. These are the perfect color for fall. They're kind of like a dark olive green color. They are buttery smooth and silky soft. They're super cute. I like these leggings and another great aspect, super high-waisted to hide your problem areas. But yeah, I will definitely keep this brand on hand to purchase another pair of leggings from. Those are all the Amazon finds that I had to share with you today. They're really great, really affordable pieces that are found on Amazon. So what is not to love? But yeah, that wraps this up. Let's go inside and get to work. My first meal of the day is just kind of boring. We really need to go to the grocery store and actually stock up on groceries. So basically all we have is leftovers. I have this leftover hamburger. I'm gonna dip it in some of this burger sauce. And I have a yogurt that I need to eat before it goes out of date. So I love these Carb Master yogurts. They are so delicious. And yeah, I don't want to eat too big of a meal today because I know that that pulled pork I'm going to want to devour once it's done. The meat's been on here an hour and so every hour you want to spritz it to keep the moisture in. Today we're spritzing it with some apple juice and look at how delicious that looks where that fat is coming apart. Ooh, it's only been in here an hour and it already looks that good. I just came over to my parents' house to drop off something and of course I have to say hello to these ladies. And this one is like, where are the treats? Whenever you're here, we get treats. I walked inside and I look out and they're just patiently waiting for their snacks. Y'all are the cutest things, hold on. I got the best kind of snack, which is dried mealworms. You agree? Here, come here, drop down. There you go. Mmm. Here, make sure you get some. Ooh, yeah. I need me some chicken. That was my finger, not the worm. I got a chicken in my lap. Just chilling, just hanging out. Can you tell everyone why the chickens cross the road? Nope. We're just hanging out. Cute little thing. And there's a cat down there too. You hanging out? It's been about three and a half hours now. So what we're doing is taking this off the grill. There we go. Bring me that pan, put it on the grill. It's, this is going on the grill. It's a pan with some apple juice in the bottom. 
We're at 160 degree internal temp of the meat, so a little ways to go still. The pan is getting wrapped in aluminum foil, and it's gonna go back on here to keep on cooking. I cannot wait to eat this. It's gonna be good. We had to make a quick trip to Best Buy because I needed to go buy me a hard drive for my computer so I can make a backup. And these things are so darn expensive. 80 bucks for this little thing. This dip that I'm about to share with y'all is something I've shared many times before on my channel, but it's three ingredients, absolutely delicious, and it's Cody's favorite dip. We make it just about every Saturday there's a football game. So what you're gonna need is a can of Rotel. If they have fire roasted, grab it, because it's the best, but original Rotel works just fine. You need a block of cream cheese and a pound of pork sausage. Spicy is what Cody said. Spicy takes it up a notch. The first step is to brown your sausage. You want to get it cooked before you add in the other ingredients. Let's so add this cream cheese on top of the meat. You want to add an eight ounce block of cream cheese to your pound of sausage. And then what I'll do is I'll get this other sausage and I'll just coat this to get it really hot. And then it comes apart a lot easier. Once you get your cream cheese softened, you're going to just want to mix it all together. Now you get your undrained Rotel, dump it in. I like keeping the water in the Rotel because it actually makes it not quite too thick. And just stir it all together and your easy peasy football dip is done. And now you can eat the dip with some Tostito scoops or the low carb route, which is some pork rinds. And I'll take this route. And I'll Thank take you. this route. Time to dig in. As good as you remembered. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, time for us to dig in. It's kind of our warm up to our pork butt because the pork butt still has another hour or two. Look at this sweet little baby out here. We need to trim your head. You're starting to get an afro going on. Can't see very well. You are just the cutest thing in the entire world, aren't you? Okay. Get it. Get that ball. Leap. <laughs> Come here, cutie. All right, the meat is 201, so that means it's time to come off the grill. I'm gonna turn it off, and this is supposed to sit for about an hour. Still sneak peek. Ooh, that looks delicious. The meat has been resting for about 45 minutes, and now it's time to pull this bad boy apart. Ooh, yum. I just toasted up some of these King's Hawaiian slider buns to put the pulled pork on. These sweet slider buns are so darn good with the pulled pork. So I'm going to treat myself, have one of these little buns. Cody made me this sandwich and it looks so good. It's just the bun, there's some mayo on it, and there's a bow in the background that keeps licking his lips thinking that this is for him. <laughs> Look at that face of concentration. We're doing a taste test. Make sure Cody did it right. That's really darn good. It doesn't even need barbecue sauce. I didn't put barbecue sauce on any of mine. Mm -mm. Hey y'all, it is the next morning. Last night after dinner, Cody wasn't feeling very well. So I just kind of put the camera down and we chilled out on the couch all night. We went to bed kind of early, so when I got up this morning, I decided I need to come outside, get some exercise. I want to start trying to do at least an hour of exercise every day, especially since I have this elliptical, which I'm on right now. It is hot out here. I am sweating. Just trying to lose some weight, and this is what it's going to take. <laughs> Whew, there we go, y'all. One hour on the elliptical. Whew. All right, time to go head back inside. I feel like I started my day on a productive note. This morning, Bo is trying to take on the bull. 
which is never a good thing. Hey, you're a pretty little dude though. Good morning. He's a new bull. Oh, Bo, you showed him. Look at all the moo moos. He's just eating his grass. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. It was a little bit all over the place, but I feel like we have come to expect the fact that they're just a little all over the place. So I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.